armor so I finally set up my pool and I wanted to share some exercises so these are just to, um like pushing my heel out and bringing it in I feel like it works my quadriceps a tiny bit I don't feel it too much but I can do it and it is a little difficult for me um so I feel like it's doing something at least and I try to do these every day or every other day it's just it really depends on um like how I'm feeling and everything so I just wanted to show you these and then, then okay so here we are so the next one I did I laid back and trying to keep my legs on like the surface of the water I would um, do leg lifts and lift my legs up and what I was trying to do was I was kind of trying to see if I could kick that kickboard up a little bit and um, I felt like this actually worked my abdominal muscles a lot more than my legs but hopefully I'm getting a leg workout in there with it too we'll see I guess as time goes on there's a few other exercises I've tried since doing these two and then here I think is a good one because see how the uh, the top part of my leg is like all the way out of the water and I'm bringing it in so it was this was pretty hard for me but the water was helpful for me to be able to bring my leg in that far um, anyway, because of, like, the lack of gravity or the buoyancy of the water, anyway. And so, um, as you can see, I was struggling with it, but I feel like it's a really good exercise to be doing. I, I don't know, for me, I feel like any exercise that's a struggle is really good for me to be doing. I don't know how you guys feel about that. You can see my right leg, I'm definitely having a much harder time than I was having with my left leg. Which makes sense because my right leg is my weaker leg. And then here we go on this one. Um, the leg in and out. So I, it's easier. The inside of my thighs on certain things are a lot weaker too. Um, so I was trying to stay on like on top of the water and just kind of bring my legs together. And I did actually feel that working my muscles of the inner thighs. So I feel like that's a really good one too. And I think if you do it, if you try to keep your legs on top of the water as much as possible, it's harder. Um, and then I did like both legs in and out. Kind of like you're doing like a V up. I'm on the ground and I wanted to see how that was that definitely worked my abs too which I can't I can't do v-ups at all um outside of the pool so this is a good one I believe plus see see how the water helps but I'm also a little bit out of the water so it's making me work harder that's what I like about this pool is that little bench so it does that and then here um, what was I doing? Honestly, I was trying to do push up. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. Here, I was doing, um, I was trying to, because, like, on land, you're supposed to be able to put your top leg on a chair or something or cross it over and lift that bottom leg up. That's what I was attempting to do. But the water just kept bringing it up for me. Um, same on the other side, but what I actually found after doing this was if I put my leg on top of the kickboard and push the kickboard down, that works that same inner thigh muscle as well. Sorry you can't really see too well on this side. As you can see, my other leg, I was having a really hard time trying to get it to, um, to stay there. I had to hold it. Yeah, you really can't see this leg going up at all. But I was trying. Alright. I think this is when I decided to, um, I think after this I decided to try the kickboard and that's when it really started working. 
again, see, you can't really tell, but my leg is, after I'm holding the one leg, my other leg, like, half of it's going up a little bit. It's just really hard to see. Um, but it, it actually is going up a tiny bit, and that's because with the help of the water, the buoyancy of the water is helping to really push it up. And after I got out of the pool, I didn't notice my legs hurting, whereas, like, two years ago, when I did pool exercises, I'd get out of the pool, and I would be super sore after. And then here's the... The other side leg lifts, which I can do just fine out of the water, too. But, um, yeah, they're fun to do in the pool still. The challenge on this one is keeping my legs straight and not having the water bring them forward or back. That was a challenge, because my leg just wants to go with the flow of, like, however the water was pushing me. I think here we go. This is where. No, never mind. I was gonna say I think this is where I discovered to push the kickboard down, but never mind. This is just the other side. Anyway, I am going in for my next Monraza dose on Thursday, and it is interesting to see because I haven't really noticed too much of a difference until I do, like, small things, and I'm like, oh, I can do that now, and I couldn't do that before, and, like, things, um, things like that. I mean, I noticed a huge difference in the beginning, but since then. And then here's me splashing. Someone asked to see a video of me splashing in a pool how high I could splash. So this is on my stomach splashing, and keep in mind this is only a two foot pool, so it was hard to splash, and I'm also a little tall for it. And then here's on my back splashing, which I can't get as high as on my stomach because of the different muscles it uses, but I can still splash this way, and it's cool too. Anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will try to keep you guys updated.